Hi guys, and welcome to this day's video. Um, so this video is going to be a little bit different, um, as it is a makeup based video, but it's not me doing a makeup tutorial or anything like that. I know you can see that I'm not currently wearing any makeup, uh, but it's nothing to do with that at all. If anything, I am going to be going through my makeup products, so this is basically me doing a spring clean of my makeup, basically. So you may, if you follow me on Instagram, you may have seen this picture that I posted last year and it was about, um, basically I signed a petition with the body shop to stop products being tested on animals and I, I really support this, I think it's a fantastic thing because animals shouldn't be tested, you know, these products, they should be tested in other ways but not on animals, it's not fair on the animals, the animals are not there to be tested on, you know, they're there to have a, their own little happy life. And I saw another YouTuber do the video that I'm going to be doing today, which was going through a cruelty free list of all the different makeup products and finding out whether their products were cruelty free, which I thought was a very interesting idea. Um, the YouTuber that I saw this video of, I think she posted it last year, was Hannah Witten and I really enjoyed that video and I thought, hey, you know what, I want to do a video like that too because I think it's a really good idea and I'd like to know what my products are like. So that is the reason why I decided to do this video today. So, the website that I am going to be using, uh, I've got the laptop right here, is a website called logicalharmony.net. Now, with that, by the looks of it, it comes up with a list of a few different brands that are cruelty free. It also has sections saying brands to avoid, um, pending list, and there's also a grey areas list. So obviously products that I'm not too sure whether are good or bad. Uh, it also says um, if you search for the lists and cannot find the brand you are looking for, they then you could submit a brand here. It also talks about how some of the brands that may be cruelty free may be parted with people that aren't cruelty free as well. So, so it's, you know, so this is gonna be interesting because I wanna try and do better. I wanna be wiser to this sort of stuff. So here we go. So I'm gonna be going through both my normal makeup bag, which is this one here, um, and my makeup drawer, which doesn't have as much in it, but I still have other products that I don't use that frequently. So, let's find out about my products. Okay, so, let's find out, let's find out, let's find out. There's a brush, that's okay. I'm, I'm assuming brushes are okay, so we'll, we'll, we'll skip over the brushes. Okay, so, the first thing I've picked up is the Maybelline New York Dream Matte Powder. So obviously that is a foundation based thing. Let's find out if they're on the brands to avoid. We need to go to M. It is M, isn't it? So this is going to be quite a longish video. Um, it's just basically I want to try and be smarter with the sort of things that I use because um, I, I just want. Oh dear. Oh dear. Maybelline is on the list of products to avoid. Ah, damn it. <laughs> so that's a product to avoid. And I think I'll put them in different piles, so you will go over there. Anything that needs to be avoided is going to go over here. Anything that's okay is going to go at this side. Okay, so let's see. What's this? Is this Maybelline? No, that is uh, Vital Radiance. Let's see if Vital Radiance is a product that needs to be avoided. Hmm. Is that what it's called? Yeah, it just says powder blush. Vital radiance. Cannot seem to find this one. Hmm. Okay, so I can't see that one on my list. I may have to check a little bit later to find out if it may have been mentioned or not. But it's not on my list to be avoided just yet. So I'll keep that next to me. Next one is this Miss Sporty Pump Up Mascara. So let's see about Miss Sporty. 
let's find out what you are like. So down to M. Damn it! Miss Sparty is also a product that needs to be avoided. We're not doing good so far. Um, what is this? What is this? Oh, oh, that's another Miss Sporty, so that can go there. What is this? That's another... M yep, that's another Maybelline. What is this? That's another Maybelline. I seem to like my Maybelline. What is this? Lava... Laval? Laval? Laval. Let's see if Laval's on the... La... Okay, Laval's not something that's on there, that, so we don't know about that one. Let's look at this one. This is from, where are you from? Primark. Let's find out if Primark's makeup is uh, cruelty free. Can't see Primark on there, so we can put that to one side and see what that's like. Um, what is this one? Rimmel, let's see what Rimmel is like. QR, uh, oh, Rimmel, product to be avoided. What's this one as well? Oh, Revolution, or oh, Revlon. That's another one that needs avoiding, so Revlon needs avoiding. Really not doing that well, guys. What's this? Naked. Naked! Matte Long. P.S. Matte Long lipstick. Is it? Let's find out about P.S. Hmm. Q.R.S. Oh, again, this is not too sure, so we'll put this to one side. What's this one? This is M.B. I think. Oh, wait a minute. What's that say? Burnt lipstick, Wet and Wild, USA. Which I feel is a lie because this is a really dry lipstick actually when I put this on, but I really like the colour. So it's lying! It's lying! But let's find out if we can find it. So this is Wizband. Wizband. See, the thing about this website is I don't know if it's American or not. Um. So I should probably check that. Oh, again, we're not too sure about this one. So we're not too sure about that. We're not too sure if that's bad or not. What is this? Oh, uh, that's a Revlon thing. Yeah, the crown. I could see the crown, even though the rest of it was faded. So that's bad. What about this? Royal en Enhance. Let's find out if Royal Enhance is a bad thing. You are. Hmm. Again, that is something we're not sure about, so we can put that aside. So, so far, I've got a couple of things in the unsure pile and a lot of thing, a fair few things in the no-no pile. Um, what is this? MUA. Let's find out if MUA is a good product or not. Q-R-S-L-L-M-N. M. O. Okay, so MUA is not on there either. Oh, wait a minute. Yeah, MUA Makeup Academy. MUA. So there's no MUA. There's no MUA on this. So I can put that to one side, so I can use that at least. So that's what we found out so far with this. What is you? You are Miss Sporty. We've already established that Miss Sporty. Is bad, didn't we? We already established this, but we'll try again. Have a look. Um, yeah, Miss Spot is bad, so I'll put that one to the side. <laughs> and what is this? This is ah Barry M. Let's find out what Barry M is. B B B B B B B B B B. Oh, but I've seen Avon. Avon's bad, and I do actually have a couple of Avon products as well. Ah, uh, so Barry M seems okay. 
So, and the last thing in my bag is a makeup eye pencil, um, which because I've used it so much as you can see by the size of it, I will not be able to find where that belongs. So, oh, and the same goes for this one as well because this is tiny. So I will not be able to find out who they belong to, what company or anything. Um, so I will leave those down here with an unknown thing because we're not too sure about that. Um, but it's a shame. So, so far I've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, nine products in my makeup bag that are bad products and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight products that we don't know because it's not on the list. That's what's in my makeup bag so far. Next is to go into my makeup drawer. So let's find out what they've got in there then. Sorry about the length of this video guys, I've got a feeling it's going to be quite long. Uh, but I was just really interested to find out how good or bad my products were basically. Um, so what I'm going to do is the products that I can't test I'm going to put back into my bag. Because they're practically dead anyway so it doesn't matter, obviously they've been used. The ones that we don't know I'm going to just put to this side so I'm not sitting on them. Um, and we'll find out. So now it's into the makeup box, which is this stuff here. Um, so let's see what we've got in here. So this is a new thing that I literally bought the, just the other day. Uh, <laughs> I bought it literally just the other day and it's a bad product because it's Maybelline. So that can go there. Oh, we got Rimmel. We found out that that's bad. <laughs> what is this? Uh, celebrity Secrets. Oh, let's find out about Celebrity Secrets. Find out if uh, this is a bad product. Probably is. Let's have a look. C. C. E. Hmm. Oh, okay. So Celebrity Secrets, as I think this is what the name of this is. Or is it double? Oh, wait a minute. I don't know if it's called Celebrity Secrets or if it's called... WH got can't find celebrity secrets on this list, but we'll look for WH, see if that not W W7, sorry, and see if that's on here. Oh, there's no W7 either. Okay, so we don't know about this. Um we don't know whether this eye palette is bad, so I will put that to the unknown pile. I already established that Miss Sport is bad. I already established that, yep, that's Miss Sporty again, that's bad. <laughs> What are you? What are you? Oh my goodness, super lashes. I can't see. Unfortunately, I'm not a big makeup person, so I can literally have makeup for years and still be using it. So this, for instance, the writing's gone on it, so I have no clue um, who this belonged to product-wise. Um, but, so I can't test this one, unfortunately. Uh, but as you can see, it's one that I've literally had for years and I'm still using it. It's a black mascara um, and I don't know who it's from, so I will put that with my makeup bag. I'll put it in my makeup bag, actually. Okay, so we've got Avon. We found out Avon's bad. I saw that very briefly on the list. More Miss Sporty. So in case you haven't noticed, I'm going for a lot of Miss Sporty stuff because it's the cheapest stuff. So this is probably why um, my makeup's bad, <laughs> basically. Okay, ooh, let's see for saffron. Let's see if saffron is on this list. Okay. Can't see saffron, so we'll put that in the unknown pile. Uh, this is a pink teaser. Let's see if that's on there. Q, R, S. Q, P, 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 P. Can't see pink teaser on there. Hmm. Okay. So I don't know about pink teaser. What are you? Oh, you're a PS. PS. I wonder if PS is on here. Psst. There is a Pist by Freeman Beauty. Is that the same thing? I do not know. Oh, no, wait a minute. This is Primark Beauty. Oh, so this is Primark Beauty, which we don't know anything about, so we'll put that to one side. What are you? MUA, did we say we didn't know about MUA? Yes, we didn't know about MUA, so that can go here as well. Um, that's a brush. 
What are you? Mm. This doesn't seem to have a... Oh, that's Primark Beauty. So, as you can see, a lot of my makeup is just cheap-ass stuff. That's Miss Sporty. Miss Sporty is bad. Wait, that just says eyeliner. And it is a Primark thing. So, we didn't know if Primark was bad or not. Um, what are you? Gallery Cosmetics. So, we'll see about Gallery Cosmetics. Um, so, we'll go for J. We're not too sure about that, so we'll put that with the unsures. What are you? You are too true. Too true. Okay, so too true. Let's see about that. Q R S T Q R S T U V. Trueview that Trueview is not on there, so we don't know about that. What are you? You are Primark, so you're good. You are Primark, so you're good. Oh, we've got to say Gallery Colours. Oh, that's the Gallery Cosmetics again that we didn't know. I think. Did we not find that? G G G G G. No, so we don't know about that. So. Even though a lot of my makeup's in here, um, kind of like a half and half sort of thing. So I've got some Rimmel, I've got some Miss Sporty and stuff. Ooh, real. Let's see if real. This is one I actually bought in the States. So I went to New York a couple of years ago um, and we went. Oh, where did we go? Oh my god, I can't remember what it's called. Um, we went into this shop, basically, this shopping centre. Um, that I think Rachel from Friends supposedly worked at or went to an awful lot, I can't remember. Um, but while we were there, it was a very expensive shop, seriously, they had loads of expensive stuff, but it was one of those stops you had to make, you know, to go, oh, I've been here. Bloomingdale's, I think it was, something like that. Um, so we went there and I, got, I had to get something and I got a little, a little eyeliner thing, which is this, which is real, I think, or is it Benefit? It might be Benefit. I can't find real on here. Uh, we'll try Benefit. We'll see if that's on there. Um, so let's find out. Damn it. Benefit's on the list. Shoot. <laughs> so, um, yeah. Technique. We've got Technique as well. Uh, QRST. Let's see if Technique's on here. I can't see it. Oh, we'll put that in my unknown pile then. Uh, that's another Miss Sporty, which is bad. This is Barry M. Do we think, did we say Barry M was bad? See, I'm going back and forth on this because I'm not too sure. Um, obviously, because I don't have a lot of the same brand. Um, was Barry M another one we weren't too sure about, maybe? Because I can't see it. Mm. No, I can't see where I am. So I will keep that over here where we don't know. Um, saffron. Did we say saffron was bad? I think we might have said saffron was bad. Q R S. Let's have a look. No, there's no saffron on this list um, as far as I can see. No. So, yeah, so we can keep that. Is that another primer? It's probably another Primark thing. Um, and now we're coming down to the last ones, in all fairness. So, oh, I've got a Calvin Klein, which I think was on this list. Uh, so let's see about that. Oh, oh. Yep, Calvin Klein's on the list. Oh, dear. Oh, dear, oh, dear. That's a Miss Sporty. What are you? You are a me, 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 whatever that means. I have no idea. Beautiful you. I doubt this will be on the list because it seems to be another one of those things that people don't know much about. Um, so that's an unknown because it's not on the list. Uh, what are you? MUA. You were on the list. I'm sure. No, no, you weren't actually. No, you weren't. 
Wait, see, I'm not doing good. I should really be keeping a track of this. Q R S. Um, um, L M N. No, there's M U N. There's mum, but there's not an M U A. So we'll keep that because we don't. We think that M U A is not bad. C C U K. I don't think I saw that. Like I said, a lot of these brands are probably um, American, possibly. C C U K. I don't see that. Well, we can keep that. <laughs> Blue eyeshadow. Because I'm totally 80s. Uh, Miss Spotty, that's bad. Um, what are you? The glitter. Laval. Let's have a look at that. Okay, Laval's not on the list. Um, I think we've already established this. Uh, <laughs> so I can have my glittery eyeshadow. Woohoo! So the next thing I'm going to look for is Janet. Let's see if I can find Janet. No, Janet doesn't seem to be on the list. <laughs> so I can keep my green lipstick. <laughs> and the last thing I'm going to be looking at. Oh, wait a minute. There's some more stuff in here. Um, Silver Storm. What are you? That is an unknown because it's something collection. So I'll keep that to one side. What are you? You are Lavelle again. So I've got my purple as well as my green. So I can keep that. And then the last things that I have in here, because I've literally got two more things, which are these. Uh, one is Technique Eyeliner. Okay, so let's see if we've got Technique on here. Q-R-S-T. Q-R-S-T. Technique, Technique, Technique. No, I don't have that many Techniques somewhere. Uh, and this last one here which I don't think has even been used. It's an eyeshadow pencil, Barry M. And I think we've established that we weren't too sure if Barry M was a bad product because um, we can't find it on the list. Yep, so Barry M's not on there. So, basically, that is my makeup collection. I'm actually quite happy with my outcome. A lot of the makeup that I have isn't bad, or at least isn't on the list. Um, a lot of it that I, I use um, isn't on the list. So a lot of stuff from Primark isn't on the list. I don't know whether it's because maybe this is maybe an American website and it might not have Primark based products on it. I don't know. Um, but a lot of the products from at least Primark seem okay. Um, I will just have a quick search just to double check that it's not like pending or something like that. So we will look at pending brands and find out what they've got on pending brands. Um, if they got Primark on there, um, then obviously they, they're not they're not good, or they might not be good. Um, Q R S C. Ooh, P P P P. Let's see, planet. Blah, 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 pretty. Um, hmm, there is a lot of P based products there, but. It doesn't appear to have Primark unless it goes under the PS thing. But let's see. PS my. I can't see any PS either. QRS. Hmm. So, in regards to this, because it's not on the pending brands and it's not on the bands to a uh, brand, sorry pending brands and it's not on the brands to avoid. Let's double check to see if they're in the grey area. Um, Cause I don't know. Let's see, A, B, C, D. P, 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 P. No, nope, it's not even on the grey areas list. So, I'm gonna just say that Primark based beauty products are uh, good. Which is good, cause they're cheap. <laughs> Um, so yeah, that is basically my products that I've now learned. So I've learned there's a load here that I need to avoid. Obviously, um, the makeup that I've got now, I'm not going to not use it because I've obviously bought it to be used. Some of it I might chuck because it's like colours I'll probably never use ever. Um, but the most of it I hope to probably use 
but I know not to buy any more of those products because they're the ones to avoid and all these other ones they all these ones here like the Primark and stuff like that these are good products as far as we can tell because they're not on the list so yay so I'm really happy with this outcome I'm really happy to learn that most of my makeup is relevantly good as far as I can see because it's not on the list um, so yeah I'm happy with that I'm, I've learnt something. I can hopefully be wiser with my makeup buying in the future. If you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Do, I am so sorry that it is quite lengthy. Obviously, I had a bit more makeup than I realised to look through and I wanted to check all of them. Um, but if you like this video, please do give it a thumbs up. Um, I will leave the link to the website in my description below. So if you want to test out your makeup, products or I think it has other products in here as well so you can test up out test out any of your products if you want to see if any of yours cruelty free I'll leave the link down below so you can check that out don't forget to hit that subscribe button because your likes and subscriptions and comments and everything is very much appreciated please let me know your thoughts if you enjoyed this video and um, I was just really wanting to do it I've been wanting to do it for a really long time I'm finally glad that I actually did eventually do it so I'm happy about that um, and I'm happy about my outcome and what I've learned and stuff it's been very interesting because I do support products that I've not been used on animals because it's not fair it's really not fair um so yeah if you like, I hope you have a wonderful evening and stay awesome guys <laughs>